Um, so for my topic for the presentation, I picked Of Plymouth Plantation by William Bradford. Um, I'm going to start with who is William Bradford, and then I'll go into a brief summary of the story itself. So William Bradford was a a founder and a longtime governor of the Plymouth Colony. He also wrote the of Plymouth Plantation, and that's one of the things that make it makes it so accurate. Uh, it's basically a diary of his time um, in the colony, what they did, what they believed in, stuff like that, and. Um, Bradford was born in 1590. He died in 1657. Um, as a young boy, he, his parents passed away. And so he kind of just had to take on life by himself. And he took it upon himself to join the separatist um, denomin- domin- denomination Um which is a more radical branch of Puritanism that um, they believed in removing themselves from the Church of England um, completely. And um, Bradford was on the Mayflower voyage when they came over. So he saw firsthand what was happening on the ship, what they did to survive, and what they saw once they got here. And um, he was in a leadership role while on this stri- on the ship. Um, so a brief summary of the Plymouth Plantation is that William Bradford is um, a founder of the colony, and he wrote a diary, which was supposed to be for his son, but it got passed along to generations and generations. And it finally became to be published, which was um, then turned into a story. So basically, it's just the story itself is a diary of things like um, how they got here, what led up to coming on the voyage, how they got permission to go on the voyage, um, what they saw when they got here. Um, challenges they faced, sicknesses, just stuff like that. Um, one of the reasons that makes it so accurate is Bradford himself saw everything that had happened firsthand from um, harassment and seasick and going to the Queen and stuff like that that he saw and he did himself. That was all in the diary when he wrote it. Um, Who is the story about? The story is mainly about William himself because, again, it's a diary. But he also put in there things about pilgrims and his friends that were on the voyage and his colony that was with him. So basically, it's just the people that were on the Mayflower that made the voyage over. Um, challenges they faced was seasickness, so when they were in the ship, a lot of people got seasick, disease, they were so packed in the ships that disease just run rampant through them, um, harassment, people being on there too long and were just fed up with each other, and then once they got here, they faced the challenge of Native Americans and being threatened by the Native Americans because they the Native Americans didn't want them there. Um, the theme throughout the story was mainly Christian Christianity. Um, Bradford talks about how God's presence was with them, the entire voyage over and leading up to the voyage. Um, they show an example that the sailors were. Um, one of the sailors' kids were harassed and cursed at and stuff. And he, the guy that was doing this got sick and kill, got killed by the sickness and then was 
one of the first people to get thrown overboard. So that's just a um that's just an example of how God was there during it. So yeah, that's just a wrap up of the story.